गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगेन विद द न्यू सेशन ऑफ साइंस वन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू लेसन लेसन नंबर सेवन लेंसेस इन द प्रीवियस ईयर वी आर सडीड अबाउट द कव मिरर इन दैट वी आर डील्ड विद कॉन्केव मिरर एंड कॉन्वेक्स मिरर दिस ईयर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट लेंसेस यू मस्ट हैव सीन द लेंस यूज इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ some example of lenses used in a by old persons for reading lens embedded in the front door of the house the lens which watch maker attaches to his eyes etc lenses are used in spectacles they are also used in telescopes as you have learned in the previous standard lens is a transparent medium bound by two surfaces the lens which has two spherical surfaces which are puffed upwards is called as convex or double convex lens you can see the diagram here con by convex lens is there which is puffed on both the sides this lens is thicker near the center as compared to edges the lens with both surfaces spherical on the inside is called as a concave or a double concave lens this lens is thinner on the center as compared to its edges different types of new different types of lenses are shown in the figure 7.2a you can see the diagram of 7.2a you'll come to know about it a ray of light gets refracted here the word used is refracted refracted implies when ray of light is passing from one medium one transparent medium to another transparent medium the ray of light changes its direction therefore they have used the word refracted so here when ray of light is passing through the lens the ray of light changes its direction therefore the word refracted is used be refracted twice while passing through a lens once while entering the lens and and once while emerging from the lens the direction of the ray changes because of these refraction both the surface uh, of most lenses are parts of the sphere so in all the lenses these are all the part of the sphere the lenses is taking place on two surfaces two types one is while ray of light is entering the lenses and the other time is when ray of light is leaving the lenses so at two places refraction take place and both the surfaces are a part of the sphere that could be explained with the help of the diagram 7.3 a cross section of the concave and convex is shown so how concave and convex lenses being formed that is being shown in the diagram The cross section of convex and concave lens is shown as a part of A and B figure 7.3. The surface marked as one is a part of sphere S1, while the surface marked as two is a part of the sphere S2. Now, different terms are used in the uh, lenses, which you already uh, studied in the case of mirror in nine standard. Same terms are there, but meaning is little bit different because there mirror was used and here lens is used but the terms are approximately same the first term used in this case of lens is center of curvature c it is represented by capital letter c the center of sphere whose parts of the sphere of the lens are called center of the curvature of the lenses lens with both surface spherical has two center of curvature c1 and c2 the radius of curvature r the radius of curvature r1 and r2 of the sphere whose parts form the surface of the lens are called as radius of curvature of the lens here two center of curvature is there and two radius of curvature is there you can see in the diagram 7.3 c1 and c2 r1 and r2 so two radius of curvature and two center of curvature is there for a lens 
the principal axis what is principal axis an imaginary line passing through both the center of curvature is called as principal axis of the lens you can see in this diagram p1 q1 is represented here p2 q2 is represented here. these are called as principal axis now optical center now what is optical center that is center of the lens inside the lens center we call it as optical lens here the point may the point inside a lens on the principal axis through which rays of light uh, light rays pass without changing the path is called as optical center so what is the speciality of this optical center when ray of light is passing through the optical center the ray of light does not changes its direction there is a speciality of the optical center whereas when rays of light is passing from any line on the optical axis except the optical center the ray of light may changes the ray of light will definitely change its direction but when the ray of light is passing exactly from the optical center the ray of light does not change its direction that is called as optical center now principal focus when light rays parallel to the principal axis are incident on the convex lens the conver they converge at a point on the principal axis this point is called as principal focus on the lens so in case of convex lens the rays of light converge after refraction in case of concave lens the rays of light diverge after refraction so the point of divergence we call it as principal focus and point of convergence is called as principal focus of convex convex lens and point of divergence is called as principal focus of concave lens so light rays parallel to the principal axis falling on the convex lens come together that is focus at a point on the principal axis so this type of lens is called as converging lens uh, when ray, ray rays traveling parallel to the principal axis of a concave lens diverge after refraction in such a way that they appear to be coming out of the point on the principal axis this point is called as principal focus of the concave lens as shown in figure 7.5 b f1 and f2 you can see the position of f1 and f2 here 7.5 f1 and f2 uh, principal focus at different places in case of convex lens principal focus is formed behind the lens and in case of concave lens principal focus is formed in front we'll move ahead light rays parallel to the principal axis falling on the concave lens go away from one another after refraction such type of uh, lens is called as divergence lens focal lens the distance between optical center and the principal focus of a lens is called as focal lens a focal lens is different here for both concave and convex it will depend upon the distance from the optical center and the principal focus now ray diagram before discussing about the ray diagram here uh, distance between uh, what is the distance between the lens and the screen called as now that is uh, uh, image distance and it is represented by v that we have already studied last year now ray diagram for refraction we have learned the rules of the drawing ray diagram for the spherical mirrors similarly uh, we one can obtain the images formed by lenses with the help of ray diagram one can obtain the position of size and nature of the images with the help of these diagrams lenses formed by concave lens now what are the rules or what are the ray diagram in uh, for different positions of the objects so here first position when incident ray is parallel to the principal axis after refraction it is passing through the principal focus similarly in the other case when incident ray is passing from the principal focus after refraction it is parallel to the principal axis third case 
वेर इंसिडेंट रे इज पासिंग फ्रॉम द ऑप्टिकल सेंटर इट पासिस थ्रू इट विदाउट चेंजिंग इज डायरेक्शन नाउ हियर टेक्सट बुक यूर प्रिंटिंग मिस्टेक इज देर हियर द टर्म इज यूज एज रिफ्लेक्टेड इट इज एक्चुअली रिफ्रैक्टेड रिफ्लेक्ट मीन्स रिटर्निंग बैक रिफ्रैक्टेड मीन्स चेंजिंग इज डायरेक्शन सो दीज आर द थ्री रे डायग्राम्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ विच वी कैन फाइंड आउट द पोजिशन ऑफ द इमेज एट एनी पोजिशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम द लेंस now how it is to be carried out that is uh, explained with the help of the diagram here candle is there concave lens and screen is there and with different positions how will be the image formed that we that uh, picture is already being drawn here now various positions are there which we are going to discuss and what will be the nature of the image that also is explained in the table now we'll con consider the first position as shown in the figure 7.7 the object ab is placed beyond the f you can see in the diagram ab is placed beyond the f that is the position of the object starting from point b and going parallel to the principal axis after refraction passes through the principal focus so that is cd now ray bo passing from the optical center passes through it without any change in the direction it intersects ct in point b dash you can see here it is intersecting both the rays are intersecting at b dash and the position of that a dash b dash is between f2 and 2f2 now as a is situated on the principal axis its image will be also located along the principal axis on a dash vertically above b dash thus a1 b1 will be the image of ab formed by the lens we can learn from this object is placed beyond 2f1 the image formed between f2 and 2f2 and it is real and inverted why it is called real because object and image both are on the opposite side and it is possible to get a image on the screen and therefore the term word is used real inverted why because it is the image is formed below the principal axis and therefore it is called as inverted and the size is smaller than the object as compared to the size of the object the size of the image is smaller so we can also call as diminished likewise one more position is being shown here when the object is very close to the lens so what will be the position of the image that is imaginary it will form on the same side practically it is not possible it is called as virtual and erect why it is called virtual because image is formed on the same side of the lens which is practically not possible erect why because image is formed above the principal axis and the size of the image is much much bigger than the size of the object and therefore size of image is very large likewise various positions of the object is given and accordingly the position of the image is given in the table the table which you can see through it and what will be the size of the image and the size of nature of the image that can be explained with the help of this table now that was image formed by convex lens now what are the possibilities for the images formed by concave lens for that we have to consider this figure of the concave as shown in the figure 7.9 object pq is placed between f1 and 2f1 you can see the object placed between f1 and 2f1 in front of the concave lens the incident ray pa starting from point p uh, parallel and going parallel to the principal axis along the ad after refraction if ad is extended backwards 
बिकॉज इट इज कॉन्के मिरर द रेज ऑफ लाइट अपियर्स टू मूव अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर तो वॉट विल बी द पोजिशन अवे फ्रॉम ईच अदर दैट विल डिपेंड अपॉन इट्स पोजिशन ऑन द एक्सेस एक्सेस ऑफ द लेंस विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रिंसिपल फोकस नाउ तो इफ इट इज एक्सटेंडेड इन द बैकवर्ड डायरेक्शन so that will give us in which direction the ray of light is refracted after it is passing from one side of the lens to the other side of the lens so in here one ray of light parallel to principal axis after refraction and it is imagine that it is extended in the backward direction so you can get the position of the ray refracted position of the ray of light refracted that is in the direction ad then another ray of light which is passing through optical center passes through it without changing its direction so these two rays of light they appear to meet at position p dash q dash and that is the position of the image so you can compare the size of the object and the size of the image the size of the image is comparatively very much smaller than the size of the object so what are the nature and size that we can again go through this table and we will come to know about the nature and the image so when the object is between optical center and infinity the image formed between optical center and focus the size of the image is small and the nature of the image is virtual and erect virtual why i have already said it is forming object and image is forming on the same side of the lens erect why because it is form image is formed about the principal axis and when the object is at infinity the position of the image is exactly on the principal focus and the image formed is a point source and the nature of the image is virtual and erect so this was all about the position of images when convex and concave mirror is being used remaining part of this lesson we'll discuss in the next video till then have a great day